Now the challenge here becomes lining these up. I can put the staples in here, but I can't put the staples in where I want them because the board is in the way. So I either have to toenail or I do the less attractive way and offset everything. I'm gonna do one this way and I'm gonna do another one that's offset so we have the comparison. The Stock Scenery Construction Handbook suggests toenailing it in that way and then bending it down and then attaching it here. That sounds like there's a lot of room for error and mistakes, and I'm not gonna recommend you do that unless it's something you really are good at. So I would recommend you offset it, or the third option would be to make a longer piece and notch it. But making a longer piece and notching it isn't taking into account the best use of our small cutoff pieces. This framing ends up with a bunch of two foot pieces that end up using up our small lumber stock and using up some of our stuff that starts to cup and warp and twist in a way that we can't do if we're only doing an outside frame and then three almost four foot pieces across the center. Without this extra stud in the middle, you're really relying on all those pieces of framing being really, really, really good and near perfect. But with this framing, you can take advantage of things having a little bit of play and discrepancy, and it will all come out in the wash. Any sort of discrepancies we have at this point, once we've kept our frame square, will be fixed as we attach the luon.